In this problem, we have two vessels. Boat A is traveling with a positive velocity in the j-hat direction and an acceleration in the same direction. It's following a linear path. Vessel B has a velocity B in the positive j-hat direction and an acceleration tangential in the negative j-hat direction. We're asked to find the velocity and acceleration of dinghy B as seen by the occupants of boat A. So because these two objects are not part of the same rigid body, we can apply rotating frames. If we want to view from boat A, we have to apply a rotating frame to boat A. We're being asked to find the velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame and the acceleration of B with respect to A in the rotating frame. Now because our boat A and our rotating frame move together and rotate together, but boat A is traveling along a straight path, it's not rotating, then the angular acceleration and angular velocity of our rotating frame are both zero. This makes our problem a lot simpler. So we'll write an expression for the velocity of B in the rotating frame. Velocity of B equals velocity of A plus big omega cross R B with respect to A. That's this vector. R B with respect to A. Plus the velocity of B as seen by A in the rotating frame. Because this term is zero, we can write that the velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame is just VB minus VA. We can put the values of this in. We've got five meters per second in the J hat minus 25 meters per second in the J hat and we can say that our velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame is minus 20 meters per second in the J hat. This is equivalent to writing our expression in translating frames, VB equals VA plus the velocity of B with respect to A and finding that term. This again is only true because vessel A is not rotating. So the frame that's attached to it, even though it would rotate with A, because A is not rotating, the frame is not rotating, and so we get this simplified expression, which is just the subtraction of the two velocities of the objects. Now we're gonna write our rotating frames acceleration equation, the acceleration of B, equals the acceleration of A plus big omega dot cross R B with respect to A minus big omega the scalar squared R B with respect to A plus two big omega cross the velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame plus the acceleration of B with respect to A in the rotating frame. Because our frame has no angular acceleration or angular velocity, all of those terms become zero. And so we're left with the acceleration of B with respect to A in the rotating frame is the acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A. Now the acceleration of B because it is following a curved path, we'll have two terms. It will be the acceleration of B tangential plus the acceleration of B normal. Acceleration of B normal is the centripetal acceleration. And so we can express that as the acceleration of B tangential minus one meters per second squared in the J hat plus omega B squared R in the i hat. So where omega b 
is the angular velocity of object B as if it were pinned at O. We can find this term by writing the velocity of B equals the velocity of O plus omega B cross R B with respect to O. Velocity of O is zero, that's the pin. And so we have velocity of B in the positive J hat equals, we note we've defined omega B in the negative, so minus the scalar omega B in the K hat direction crossed with the vector RB with respect to O, which is just minus R in the I hat direction. VB in the J hat direction equals omega BR in the J hat direction. So we can find that omega B is VB over R, and that's 0 0.25 rads per second when we sub in our numbers. So the value of this expression, subbing in 20 meters for R, as given in the problem, is going to be 1.25. So we can write that acceleration of B with respect to A in the rotating frame is going to be this expression for AB minus one in the J hat direction plus 1.25 in the I hat direction minus our acceleration of A, which is given as four meters per second squared in the J hat. And we can write our final expression, AB with respect to A relative equals 1.25 in the I hat minus 5 in the J hat meters per second squared. Once again, because the frame attached to A was not rotating because A was not rotating, our expression reduces to our translating frames equation. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.